Today we can't choose the wrong legendary Pokemon door in Minecraft Pixelmon. Each round will have three doors to choose from, and whatever door we choose, we get to catch the legendary Pokemon that was behind it. And of course, these can be OP Pokemon like Rayquaza or Giratina, but they can also be really weak legendaries like a Fion or a Cubfoo. And after six rounds, we'll battle with our final teams to decide the winner. I'm Mr. Cyrid, we're here at the legendary Pokemon doors. Are you ready, sir? Yes, sir, let's do this. Woo. All right, round one, good luck. Good luck. So right away, we have a red door, a blue door, and a green door, keeping it simple for the first round. And let's take a look at this hint. We have one dog and one bird. We know one is weather and one is mythical from gens three, five, and six. All right, so round number one, we have one altered form, one regional form, and they're each from generation five, seven, and eight. I don't know if the color of these buildings actually correspond with the color of the legendary, but if they do, that should be pretty helpful. Let me try and think of the mythical Pokemon. Keldeo is a mythical from Gen 5, and it's kind of blue, so maybe it's here in the blue door. And for Gen 6, ooh, Volcanion. Volcanion could easily be in this red door, so I'm gonna assume that's a Volcanion. But this one weather hint is really tripping me up. Ooh, wait, what if it's like Tornadus or Thunderous, something like that? Wait, and right here we see one bird. Tornadus' Darien form is actually a bird. I swear that has to be what it is, so that means the middle option here is probably a dog. It could be Landorus. It could be Landorus uh, T form. Oh, yes, I love that. I I actually love that a lot. And it's orange. And then and then Galarian Articuno is purple. Okay, so then in the middle, Generation 7, Zero Aura. But with our given information, I think I'm gonna lock in the green door on the far right. And even though Zero Aura is my favorite legendary, I'm gonna go with Landorus because I just feel like he's a little bit more dynamic on the battlefield. All right, so we locked in the green door. Let's see what we have over here in the red one. Bah! And we are correct. It was a Volcanion. But of course, we did not choose that. Let's see what we missed out on in the blue door. It's a Suicune. Let's go ahead and open up this first. We're gonna see if I was right with Zero Aura. Yes, I was. Okay, let's go. That's a good sign. And then this should be hopefully Galarian Articuno. And it is. Okay, okay. Hopefully this is what I think it is. Show me Tornadus. And it is the Tornadus Therian form. And on the right, please show me Landorus T. Landorus T. Landorus T. What is that? I think that that is a pretty big L for me. Moving on to our next set of doors, we have a pink door, a purple door, and a yellow door. And as for the hint, oh God, it says one trash. That stinks. But we also have one part of a trio in one different form from gen six, seven, and eight. All right, round number two, we have one is part of a trio, one box art legend, and generations one, four, and seven. One is part of a trio. So generation one, there is a trio. No, Moltres, Articuno, Zapdos. Generation 4, Giratina, Dialga, and Palkia. And then in Generation 7, there's Solgaleo, Lunala, and Necrozma. This first hint doesn't really help me too much because all three of these generations, I feel like, have trios. What are some Pokemon with different forms, though, from these generations? Ooh, Gen 6 has Hoopa, and there is a pink door right here. Dude, if this is a Hoopa Unbound, that is freaking insane. Box Art Legend, though, from Generation 7, there's a white one, which is Solgaleo, and that's... That would be pretty sick if I could get a Solgaleo. Wait, is it possible that this far right door is Regilecki? I know it says part of a trio, but I'm thinking of the yellow legendary Pokemon. Like from Gen 6, 7, and 8, there's not that many, and Regilecki could fit here. On the left here, we have a blue box with Generation 1. I'm thinking that this could be Articuno as part of the legendary trio as well. Or it could be Dialga, because Dialga's blue, but I feel like it would be a darker blue if there was Dialga. I just don't know what could be in this purple door. I really don't want to pick the trash. We're going to lock in the far left pink door. I feel like no matter what, this one has to be a very good legendary. And then on the sides, I'm not really sure. I feel like this is probably Articuno. And I don't know what the brown one is. Maybe Heatran? So I'm going to lock in the middle one, which is white. Ooh, a Fion. Okay, well, I'm glad I didn't go with that one. Of course, let's see what we missed out on in the yellow door first. It's going to be like a Zero Aura or something. Watch. Oh, so it is a Regilecki. And then on the right, we have Entei. Show me something bad. Yes. Oh my God. So we luck out not picking the Cosmog. It's gotta be Solgaleo. Show me the money. Yes, come on. So that was the one box art legendary. And as for our real door pick, we have ourselves a Hoopa Unbound. Dude, let's go. What other pink Pokemon could it have been? Yes, dude. And I'm feeling pretty good going to the next round. But we have a brown door, an orange door, and a white door. As for the hints, we have one box art legendary, one fake legend, one loves winning from gen
gens two five and seven okay i'm really happy with this soul galeo that we got in round two. Ooh, one from space generation three green if that's not rayquaza bro one from earth generation three groudon but it's only one of these can be gen three i'll tell you right now though this one fake legend is really tripping me up the one loves winning wait gen five that's a victini i feel like that has to be correct i'm gonna say this middle door is a victini the fighter is generation eight and it's urshifu with this gray building here so there's that i'm pretty confident with that one gen 5 has reshiram but oh gen 2 has lugia and that would make a lot of sense if this white door was a lugia i'm not gonna lie one from the earth i think that could be generation 3 groudon one from space generation 7 to me the generation 7 pokemon that are from space is like cosmoum but none of these are black so that leaves us with the brown door being the fake legend from gen 7 i think that this middle one is Groudon. I think that's Generation 3 from the Earth, but also from Space Gen 3 Rayquaza. But with all that information, if this white door is a Lugia, we already have a flying and a psychic Pokemon on our team with Tornadus and Hoopa. So I'm gonna lock in the middle door, hoping it's a Victini. I know it's a psychic type, but at least it's also fire. We're gonna lock in the middle one with red. If this is not Urshifu, and it's not at least a Generation 8 Pokemon, we are in shambles. I'm gonna have no idea what the heck is gonna happen next. Let's open it up three, two, one. Urshifu. Boom. Is this white door a Lugia? And it is. Hey, buddy, what's up? How you doing? Let's see what is the Gen 7 fake legend. I mean, this could be wrong. We could have picked the fake legend and I could just be totally off. Let's see if we were correct. Uh, oh. oh, well, that makes sense. It's a fake legend. It's not really a real legend. <gasps> It could be Tapu Bulu. It could be one from Earth, Generation 7, Tapu Bulu, and then one from Space, Generation 3, Rayquaza. I've changed my... Am I allowed to change my answer after I've opened one door? I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm locking in the green one. I need Rayquaza on my team. Please, if this is Groudon, I'm gonna be fuming. Please don't be Groudon. 3, 2, 1. Oh, it's Deox. Wait, no. Oh, no. Wait, I'm so confused because that is one from Space from Generation 3. So now we have one from Earth, Generation 7. That's green. But for the middle door, did we select Victini. I think the chances are pretty dang high. And we did capture Victini. Oh, Zygarde. Okay, I will take that. That is sick. Let's go. On to the next round. And Mr. Cybrid, we are halfway through the challenge now. I hope your team is looking crispy, bro. It is looking good. It's looking like a mean green fighting machine. I will tell you that. Fighting machine. I mean, I got psychic types, so I hope you got fighting Pokemon. All right. We have a black door, a gray door, and a pink door. Either way, we have one Pokemon that can Mega, one Pokemon that can Fuse from Gens 5, 6, and 7. So we only have two hints this time around. But now we have three Pokemon. We only have three more Pokemon to attain before we have to battle Arpus. I'm honestly pretty happy with how our team is coming along. But for round number three, our hints are one Box Art Legend, one Mythical, and Generations 3, 3, and 8. I think the Gens really help out. We know we have Gens 5 and 7. And in those games, Kiram fuses with Reshiram as well as Zekrom. And then in Gen 7, Nicole Rosma confused with either Solgaleo or Lunala. So that's six different Pokemon we could possibly get, but I think this black door makes the most sense. It could be Necrozma or Zekrom. So I'm gonna assume this black door is the one Pokemon that can fuse. Are there any orange legendaries from Generation 3? There's Ray. Oh, maybe Reggie Rock? What are the legendary Pokemon that Mega Evolve? I mean, obviously there's Mega Rayquaza, Primal Groudon, Primal Kyogre, but you also have Mega Latios, Latios, and also Mega Diancy, which that is sounding good here for the pink door. But as for this gray door in the middle, I have no idea what this could be. Like the only gray legendary I can think of right now is Urshifu and that's from Gen 8. So that won't even work. So I think to play it safe, we're just gonna not choose the gray door. I really hope it's not something busted. And I think we're gonna go ahead and lock in the black door as our pick for the round. I would love a Rayquaza, but I already have a Zygarde, which is a dragon type and I don't have any water types. So I think I'm gonna lock in the blue. Let's see if we did indeed miss out on a Mega Diane please oh so it is a diancy but it's not the mega form honestly i'm i'm really happy about that i won't lie please show me reggie rock yes okay we did nail that i believe that that's the mythical although i don't know but that is one of the gen threes crossed off the center gray door i seriously have no idea what this pokemon could be still hopefully it's not too good and ooh, it's a mars shadow i would have actually loved to have that on the team that kind of stinks i'm not gonna lie so please show me generation eight generation Generation 8, Generation 8, 3, 2, 1. Yes! Okay, that is Zerud! That is a Generation 8 Mythical. Oh! 
Oh, okay. So this is legendary. Zerud is mythical. So that's mythical off, which means we have one box art legend and generation three. That is, that has to be Pokemon Sapphire, which is Kai Ogre. Let's go. But finally, we do have the black door here. And this is a gen seven Pokemon, which means this should be from gen five, meaning it's a Zekrom, baby. I'm so glad we got that right. Let's go. Only two more rounds left in the challenge before the final battle. So we need to get something crazy here. We have one super old, one that loves the environment. Gens three, three, and four. Of course, we have a yellow, a red, and a light blue door. Hmm. The one that fuses in the game could be a lot of different things. So I'm going to hold off on trying to figure out what that is for now. But then the next one is one that likes swords. There's only one Pokemon that comes to mind for me, which is a Zacian. Let's try to think about this. One loves the environment. I mean, that screams to me grass type Pokemon or even a ground type Pokemon, maybe. Would these doors be any of the Gen 3 Regis? I mean, Regice could be in the far right here. But I don't know if Regice really loves the environment. Regice is super old though. So I'm gonna assume that Regice is in this light blue door and we're just gonna not pick it because I don't want a Regice. I really don't. One likes swords. I mean, there is the Swords of Justice, which is like Verizian, Cobalion, those guys. And Verizian's green and it's Generation 5. So to me, that makes sense. Although Verizian doesn't have a sword, I could probably learn Sacred Sword though. So, you know, we're kind of reaching that straws here, but I feel like that maybe could be Verizian in the middle. Generation 7 trash. I mean, it could be Cosmog. It could be Cosmoem. It could be Type Null. I guess black could work for that coloring as well. well. That means this is a Gen 4 legend that's yellow. Is it a Giratina? I don't know another Gen 4 legend. I guess this red door too could be a Reggie Rock. I mean, it's kind of red orangish. I really don't know for this round. I think I'm just going to lock in the yellow door. And then another Pokemon that can fuse. That could be Ultra Necrozma. Ultra Necrozma is yellow. Or it could be uh, like a Necrozma, like Duskmane. Honestly, I can't really think of anything that could be different from this is being Verizian, this being like Cosmoam or Type Null, and that being Ultra Necrozma. So I'm going to lock in the left here and hope that I was correct. So let's see if we were correct. If this is a Regice, I'm going to feel so much better. Show me Regice. Oh, that is not good. I don't think Latios loves the environment, so we either chose that or the super old Pokemon. Please be Verizian. 3, 2, 1. Yes! Okay, wait a second. That's really good because that crosses off Gen 5. Let's check this middle door, though. Please don't show me a Groudon, though. Please don't show me a Groudon! No! Oh, man. So let's open up this door. Please be bad or trash or something. Necrozma can fuse in-game. Oh, no. I was thinking that it was already fused. So I'm assuming Assuming we have the super old Pokemon from Gen 4. Oh no. This might be one of the worst legendaries we could have gotten. That is not going to help us in the battle. Oh boy. I do not want to know what is behind that door because I'm pretty sure it's going to be trash. Oh no. What have I what have I gotten myself into? Let's let's find out. In three, two, one. I just got an off hand. And here we are with the final round. Our chance to get our last OP team member. Let's see what we can do. We have a blue, a neon green, and an orange door. And we know that that one loves the sky, one wears a watch, okay, and one runs fast in gens three, four, and eight. Interesting. This is actually, I feel like I know all these so quickly. One likes plates. Arceus. Arceus loves plates. In order to summon Arceus, you have to get all of the different types of plates. This one wears a watch. Is there any Pokemon that actually wears a watch? 100% no. I would definitely know that. But we do have Pokemon that control time, like Celebi or Dial. And I think this blue door is actually a Dialga. I mean, Gen 4 is on our list. That leaves us with the Pokemon that loves the sky and the Pokemon that runs fast. In the middle, one clone. What is like the most popular clone Pokemon ever? Uh, Mewtwo. Purple! Generation 1! And then, so that leaves us Gen 2 Flies ho -Oh. This could be a Galarian Zapdos, now that I think about it. I mean, that Pokemon's like orange, brownish. That would definitely work in this door. So yeah, I'm gonna confidently say that this is probably a Galarian Zapdos. ho -Oh is flying and fire. We don't have a flying or fire Pokemon on our team. But is that crazy to pick ho -Oh over Arceus? I am going to pick ho -Oh. We're locking in ho -Oh. And that leaves us with the green door from Gen 
Gen 3, the Pokemon that loves the sky. I mean, that's a Rayquaza, right? And I think locking in this green door should get us a Rayquaza. So you know what? Let's do it. So let's open up door number three. Show me Mewtwo. Boom! It's not too often that uh, you pass up on a Mewtwo. And it's even less often that you pass up on an Arceus. Let's see what we missed out on in the orange door. I'm thinking Galarian Zapdos. Show me! It is a Galarian Zapdos. Okay, we're one for one so far. I select ho -Oh! over in Arceus. Let's go. I will take that all day. This is a Dialga. I think we secured the Rayquaza. Three, two, one. Bop. Let's go, dude. Let's go. And that leaves us with our final choice. The green door right here, baby. Show me. Rayquaza, baby. Let's go. It is time to battle Cyru. And Mr. Cyru, it is time for the legendary Pokemon battle. Good luck, sir. Good luck, my brother. All right, here we go. We're against a Kyogre. Go for Psychic. Wait, oh, how no. slow is Hoopa? No way. Kyogre's like weirdly fast. Please flinch. Flinch. No. Quick. Oh, Origin Pulse oh, takes me down. Let's go to the big... I also got one of the big Gen 3 legends, Mr. Rayquaza. So here comes an extreme speed, yes. Oh, oh I live. my I live. gosh. I live. I live. Let's go. Watch this. Outspeed. Outspeed. Dang it. Okay. Victini outspeeds Kyogre. Victini, I need you to put the whole entire team on your back right now. I need you to. You're not going to like me for this. You're not going to like me for this. Final Gambit. <laughs> so I take myself out, but it does as much damage as I do to myself to you. So you know, wave goodbye to that Zygarde. And ho -Oh is here. Please hit this Bolt Strike. Fire Blast doesn't do a lot. Bolt Strike connects. Takes down the ho -Oh, and we take down Mr. Cyber. He just, he's gone. Don't forget to subscribe.